Good day, fellow learners. Once again, this is your mentor, your fact check by the Rega, who's joining you for another learning and teaching session this time around for our case number seven for your next generation NCLEX RN test preparations. But before we proceed, let me ask your kind hearted spirits to please join us in this mission. Our goal is to provide free NCLEX RN application and review to 100 nurses. We've been doing this since two years ago, and last year we gave out 106 scholarships, primarily in areas where we have our less fortunate brothers and sisters in the nursing profession, the Visayas and Mindanao area. So to help us achieve this, just watch and finish the ads in our videos. Please don't skip. That's where um, our financial support for our scholars are coming from. So please help us achieve our goal for this year. And I'd also make this, I'd like to make this public advisory that Dr. Ray A. Gapus, that's me, and the mentors of the Ray A. Gapus system, that's the name of our company. Please note, it's Ray A. Gapus system, not Gapus Review Academy. We are not that. So if you want me in your program for your test preparations, look for the Ray A. Gapus system are not part of another center named Gapus Review or Gapus Review Academy. So if you don't see us, the mentors of the Ray Gapus Review System Philippines, I'm just showing the pictures of our Philippine team. Of course, we have other teams in other countries. Please note that if you don't see us, it's at a Ray Gapus System class. Okay, so... I'd like to share with you the success story of a passer, and I hope that you can get a thing or two from this success story, or shall we call it success recipe. Passing the NCLEX exam was a monumental achievement in my nursing journey. The rigorous preparation and dedication it required were challenging, but incredibly rewarding. The exam tested not only my knowledge, but also my critical thinking and decision-making skills, which are crucial for a successful nursing career. The feeling of seeing the past result was unparalleled, confirming that all the hard work and perseverance had paid off. This milestone has opened doors to a fulfilling career where I can make a meaningful impact on patients' lives. I'm grateful for the support from my mentors, family, and friends, and I'm excited to embark on this new chapter as a registered nurse. I would like to thank the RAGRS family, Sir Ray, Sir Francis, Mom Shans, Mom Che, Mom Nisi, Mom Nicole, Mom Marisol, and Mom McLean. They guided me on a perfect path to success. Also to the hardworking, supportive, and more than helpful staff, Mom Joanne, Mom Joan, Sir George, Sir Efren, Sir Kim, and Sir Daniel. I considered them as my teammates. Because of them, my success became possible. Kudos to all of us and cheers. My success list. Number one for her, Pray. I devoted myself praying every day to Our Lady of Peña Francia and St. Jude Thaddeus, the patron saint of the impossible. Two, dedication to review every day. I sacrifice everything. Review first after an exhausting work. That's a good thing with the system because you can choose. We are very flexible. You can choose a two-hour program, a three-hour program, a five-hour program, or an eight-full-pack-hour program on weekends only. You, you can always choose which one you want to be in. We have morning classes, evening classes, okay? That's for the comprehensive review. I see to it that I attend all of them. Quick fix, she attended three sessions. Now, one session is equivalent to 24 hours conducted in three days at our building, the Ray Gapos building. Functional concepts, NCLEX 311, they consider this the holy grail of success. NCLEX are in quick fix in pharmacology, nursing reminder sheets, core shells, your TOP account, the Pecha Kuchas, and all exam questionnaires. RAGRS mentors videos on YouTube. So that's Mr. Heherson Alipante from Naga College Foundation. So congratulations, sir. And well, that was just, that was just a couple of days back. He passed on July 1, 2024. He passed the next generation NCLEX RN test for the State Board of New York. Congratulations, Sir Alipante. You're now a registered nurse in the US. So the first thing that you have to consider asking yourself when you are preparing for your next gen NCLEX would be, what do I need to study? And for you to be able to answer this, you need 
expert opinion, not the opinions of the false prophets of the NGN, which abound online okay, during these days. So let's begin with our next generation NTEX RN case number seven. Okay. So we're, we're going to talk about Wernick's Korsakoff syndrome. It used to be that these two conditions are discussed separately. You have Wernick's encephalopathy and Korsakoff syndrome. But since in most cases, these two coexist, so it's important that we discuss it as uh, two different conditions that coexist in clients with history of alcoholism. So Wernick's Korsakoff syndrome is actually a complication of chronic alcohol use or abuse. So Wernick's Korsakoff syndrome is a memory disorder due to a deficiency in thiamine or vitamin B1. Now, we usually get uh, vitamin B1 from poultry products like pork. So what happens is in the absence of thiamine, the body would eventually become malnourished because glucose will not be absorbed properly. So one of the important or significant functions of thiamine in the body is that it facilitates the absorption and metabolism of glucose, thereby enhancing our energy. So this deficiency also in thiamine would eventually lead to a memory disorder. And this could also be associated with our deficiency in glucose. You know, for a fact that for our brain to function better, you need glucose. So Wernick's encephalopathy is the acute phase of the disorder, while Kors Korsakoff syndrome characterized by amnesia represents the chronic phase of the disorder. Therefore, if we talk about an early sign of the disorder, then that could be your Wernick's encephalopathy. And if we talk about a late sign, then that could be your Korsakoff's syndrome. So what are the things that should alert us that a client is having Korsakoff syndrome? So it's characterized by RAP, retrograde amnesia, anterograde amnesia, and confabulation. So for clients with um, Wernick's syndrome, they would usually suffer from, remember, coat, okay? So confusion or confabulation, okay? And then they will have ophthalmopegia or paralysis of the eye muscles. And then they eventually develop ataxia and thiamine deficiency. So interventions for Wernick's Korsakoff syndrome include the following. Remember the code VENA, okay? So vitamin B1 tablets or injection intravenous fluids, nutritional support, and of course, definitely abstinence from alcohol. Um, in some other um, literatures, nutritional support would usually involve provision of additional calories and administration of glucose, okay? So on to the application of these functional concepts. So let's begin discussion of case number seven. A 64-year-old woman was referred to the alcohol rehabilitation facility due to extensive cognitive problems. Neuropsychological assessment done on admission revealed global cognitive decline and memory impairment, including decreased attention span and loss of executive function. Now, if you're going to read through this case, it's actually quite difficult to decipher which condition the patient is suffering from, but there's one specific datum here that should give you the clue. And that is contained in the first sentence. The client was referred to the alcohol rehabilitation facility. So this could be associated with the ab uh, substance abuse associated with the use of alcohol. So let's answer the question. Which of the following treatment should the nurse anticipate as the immediate intervention for the client? Now notice that um, there could be one or two that are so close when you go through the options. So let's begin. Is it option one, vitamin B1 injection? Option two, high calorie diet? Option three, darkened room? Option four, IV fluid infusion and glucose. Now, darkened room is a no-no. Definitely when a client is suffering from alcohol withdrawal syndrome, they would usually have hallucinations. So 
it's more important to give them to assign them to a well lit room or well lighted room because they fear shadows because of their tendency to have visual hallucinations or tactile hallucinations. Um, high calorie diet may be essential, but it's not the immediate intervention. So we're left with options one and four. Is it vitamin B1 injection or IV fluid infusion and glucose? Now, if you go back to the pathophysiology of the Pines condition, we discussed early on that your thiamine is better absorbed if it's given by injection or by IV. However, between thiamine injection and IV fluid infusion with glucose, we need to address first the primary problem because glucose will not be absorbed without if the client has a deficiency of vitamin B1. So we first have to administer the vitamin B1 in order to facilitate the absorption of glucose. So if we talk about which one is more immediate, then the answer would be definitely option one. Vitamin B1 injection, take note that your thiamine or vitamin B1 could either be given by injection or through an IV fluid infusion. So if the option in number four could have been stated IV fluid infusion and thiamine administration, that would have made it correct. But for this specific question, the correct answer is option one. Okay. So once again, may I invite you to join our hundreds of thousands of pastors from more than 30 countries worldwide who are in the Ray Gapos system. So how do you study if you want to pass the NGN? Study using technology like what we're doing here at the Ray Gapos system where our learning tools are published by international publications companies. And of course, we have our own learning management system, which we call the Ray Gapos system core shell. So if you want to avail of unlimited exposure to this set of learning tools, we have videos, short quizzes, long quizzes, NGN sample items, and of course, multiple choice standalone items, you have it here. And of course, we also have a very conducive environment, especially if you want to use our NGN simulation room, we're the only one who has that. And definitely our very convenient class size. So there's no overcrowding at the Ray Gapo system. So may I invite you to join our next generation NCLEX RN Flex, the most flexible test prep class for the NCLEX RN. Our fee starts at 3,499. It's your choice of live face-to-face -face class, live virtual class, on-demand and limited video recorded lessons, including the QBank plus my three books plus NGN strategies and sample questions. Once again, this is your mentor, your fact check buddy Ray Gapus at your service. Good luck to those who are about to take the test and to those who are still studying, see you in my next video.